What's up guys? So you might notice that behind me we are not in the camper anymore and that is because we have completed our around the continental United States road trip and we are back home in Marathon. So we took about a week to decompress. We did get a lot of boat tours filmed so I've got a lot of editing to do starting with this one right here. I'm really excited to bring this one to you guys because this is a very unique smaller performance cruising catamaran that I think you guys are really going to like. But real quick before we get to the tour just want to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button down here. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps us tremendously to grow the channel. So thank you in advance and without further ado, let's get to the tour. All right guys, looking at the aft end of the boat from the dinghy here. Got a pretty big cockpit with an enclosure. Stepping aboard. Looking forward. And looking at the starboard side sugar scoop. This boat has lifting rudders or cassette rudders, so the draft of this boat is gonna be very small when those are up. Let's take a look at this compartment right here, just forward of the rudder compartment. Looks like it's going to be steering in propane. And looking forward again, we're going to go forward first and then we're going to come back around. Let's see if I can fit on the side here, and I can. So as you guys can see, pretty narrow side decks but in a little bit you'll see why that doesn't really matter so much got solar on the coach roof radar there's our boom main sail so this mast does not have spreaders as you can see It's got synthetic rigging. So this catamaran has dagger boards, like any true performance catamaran. Because of those dagger boards, this boat will point well upwind. Opening up the starboard forward compartment. We've got huge compartments on both sides. And here is the port side forward compartment. Huge compartment. That's going to provide a lot of extra buoyancy and safety. And going forward to the starboard side bow. We've got a bowsprit, so we can fly multiple head sails, get as much performance out of this boat as possible. Looking aft. And now you can see our forward helm station right here. That is the reason why the narrow-ish side decks aren't so much of a big deal because you can actually get to the forward deck through the helm station and that's probably the preferred method. Got some storage lockers just forward of the cockpit right here. Showed you the starboard one, here's the port one and that's going to be a chain locker. We've got a self-tacking jib forward of that helm station. And we're going to go aft and come back to the cockpit in the helm station. More solar on the port side here. Continuing aft, we've got our port side sugar scoop. Access compartment for the rudder. going into the cockpit. As you guys can see, this is a very spacious, protected cockpit. 
you got to step down into it. Lots of seating. Has a full enclosure that you can roll down, so super protected. Got a little cockpit table here with some storage. Storage under the benches. Under both of them. And then we've got a cooler, cold storage in the table. Looking forward. Just kind of stepping back to give you a full view. This is such a cool design feature. You've got that big circle that you walk through. And then here is our helm station. This is where you're going to pilot the boat from. You've got everything you need here. All of the control lines run here. All of your instruments are here. Your steering is here. Beautiful. And that's our view. I just want to say real quick, guys, this forward cockpit is absolutely amazing. There's nothing like it on the market out there. There's, you know, in a 37-foot catamaran, you just don't, you don't see this. And I can only imagine, you know, taking this boat out for a sail and sailing it from right here. I mean, you've got everything, everything to control the boat. Perfect view forward, all around, and you're right here in the center of the action. Your mass is right right there this is just so cool if we ever build a catamaran down the line you know kind of a dream of ours one day to do that i think we're gonna need to put in a forward helm station like this i can't get enough of this helm station so i just wanted to give you guys another quick view from the helm station i can definitely see why a forward helm station like this is desirable and then you can turn around and you've got your cockpit right there i just can't stress how awesome this layout is enough. I really can't. So I'm back here in the cockpit and then you have the forward helm station up there and you could be hanging out right here, perfectly protected, eating some food, having a drink. And then the skipper could be up here sailing the boat and you could just go to and from very easily. In a lot of other catamarans, the helm station is above everything and it's away from everything. This is right here in the center of the boat. It's like the entire boat was built around that forward helm station and I absolutely love it. That's all I got to say about that. Going down into the port hull. Turning aft. We've got a single berth and this is kind of a storage area from the looks of it for the current owners. Got our DC panel here. And then the engine's gonna be down here. Got a little diesel right there. Turn it forward. Moving into the port side forward cabin. There's gonna be a bridge deck berth in both of the main cabins on this boat and that's gonna help maximize sleeping space while also maximizing performance by keeping the hulls narrow. Got some cabinets below the berth, some shelving, ventilation, moving forward. We've got a wet head. Ventilation up top. Round opening port on the side. Turn it aft. Heading back out. Gonna walk over the bridge deck and down into the starboard hull. Now down in this hull is gonna be your galley. 
and that is going to be right here in the aft section of the hull. Got a modest sized galley, just enough space for a sink, some storage, a cooktop, and a fridge. Turn it forward. Our diesel is going to be down below my feet as I walk over it. Got a dagger board compartment. This is going to be on both sides. And like I said, in the other hull, we've got another bridge deck berth on this side. So both these main cabins, bridge deck berths. Nice, big, spacious double berths. Storage and another wet head. So this section of this hull is pretty much mirrored from the other side. And here's the diesel in the starboard hull. So let me be very clear. I absolutely love that boat. And it's mainly because of that forward helm station in a smaller performance cruising catamaran. I thought that the boat being built around that helm station just made it so that this is a boat that is built to sail. It's built to have fun on. It's built for people that enjoy sailing. It is certainly not a condo Moran. So if you're looking for the most amount of space that you possibly could have on two halls, this is not the catamaran for you. But if you're looking for a catamaran that's a lot of fun to sail, sail fast, goes upwind well, and is just generally a very good performance cruiser, this is definitely the boat for you. I think this boat is an awesome deal. The price is right and I think her new owner is going to be very, very happy. Now as with all of our videos, we put the asking price in the description below. We do that because if the price were to change, we can change the description, but we can't change the video. Also the broker's contact information is going to be in the description below as well. What else can I say about this boat? I mean, I think Randy and I would be very, 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 very seriously considering purchasing this if we didn't already have something going on that was completely unrelated to this for our next boat. The details of which I am dying to release, but everything is not completely finalized yet, so I can't release them yet. I don't want to give you all the details until everything's final, but just know that there is a lot going on behind the scenes that pertains to our next boat, and as soon as we possibly can, we will give you guys the full scoop on that. But yeah, I mean, the Moxie M37 Island Hopper is just that. It's a great boat to take you to the Caribbean, really to take you anywhere, and to do it while having a lot of fun sailing. Just a little information about the builder. I'm probably going to mispronounce the name, so I apologize in advance, but I think it's pronounced Hugh Jasperson. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but he is a pretty well-known boat builder. He designed and built these boats under the company name Jazz Marine in South Africa. The same man worked on voyage yachts as well as gunboat cats, so he knew what he was doing. Unfortunately, I read that he tragically passed away last year, so that is definitely really sad. However, he left a lot of his legacy in the boats that he built. Anyway, that's just a little background information on the builder because this is more of a unique vessel. Not very many were made, but yeah, I think that's really all I have to say about this boat. It's an awesome, really, really unique, cool performance cruising catamaran that is not so big. I just want to quickly address, obviously, Randy and Morgan aren't in this video. Now, they're not going to be in every single video going forward. Some of the boat tours we filmed were just me because it ended up logistically and practically just being more feasible for me to do it that way, to peel off, go film the tour while Randy took care of the baby. Um, it's just how it is, unfortunately touring the country in a camper while trying to film boat tours all with an infant under one year old. It's a lot. So it just ended up working out this way. But I think the real content here is obviously the boats and we will try to get Randy and Morgan in as much as we can. As always guys, if you enjoyed this one, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you want to know each and every time we drop a video. We've got a lot of them coming to you pretty soon. Got a lot of footage that I need to edit. So 
stay tuned. Oh, I also wanted to quickly mention that we're going to be putting together a full vlog or maybe two of the entire trip that we took across the U.S. You know, it's not going to have any boat tours in it, but it's just going to be kind of, you know, the trip. So I'm excited about that because that's going to be different content than we're used to. And yeah, see you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I